so this is the new teaser trailer for DLC 1 for Atomic Heart. Let's watch it again and this time see what we can see. Right off the bat, it's water themed. This obviously takes place in the underwater area that was shown in the latter half of the campaign. It was referred to as being a rapture as a Easter egg reference to the Bioshock series. That being said, let's watch this in slow motion and see if there's anything interesting that we can gleam from this very short teaser. Right off the bat, I'm not sure if all of these are going to be playable areas. I don't know how you would get into these. I think these are just stage dressing, but we'll see. These ones on the other hand, the larger ones, I would dare to assume that we'll be able to enter in these ones. All right, what have we got right off the bat? Some of these features, these like umbrellas and stuff, I recognize from the part of the game where you go into limbo and you are collecting apples. A lot of these assets were used in that. That's not good or bad or plot worthy. I'm just pointing it out. This definitely looks like a playable area. Again, I'm thinking what would require not a lot of asset building from the devs point of view. And these plants remind me of the labs that have the zombie creatures. So again, I'm thinking easy not to slap together, but to create with not too much effort. These ramps, I personally will have a very fun time clearing. I, don't, I believe that we're just going to be walking from place to place maybe there'll be some sort of spherical transportation we can roll down them i'm not sure the aesthetics of this are gorgeous um i, I definitely think we're going to be walking along these though as you can see there's little like signs here pointing out which direction to go so i think this is going to be playable character interactable Okay, we kind of stay on this. Interesting, right that. So yeah, you can definitely walk on these. These look like the rooftops of many of the buildings that we've been able to walk on. Um, yeah, all of these definitely going to be interactable, which is very nice. Yeah, this will be really fun to go like little room to little room clearing them. I'm guessing that's what it's going to be, but we can't really glean too much from this. Other than if we look at this, it looks like this appears to be the outside support or inside rather of some sort of giant sphere. So maybe all of these floating structures are located inside of some giant dome of some sort, which is very interesting. This isn't just floating out by itself. It's part of a larger structure. Yeah, these ladders, these are straight out of the VDNH. There's definitely, this is going to be a playable area for sure. This summer, what does that mean? June, July, August, we don't know. And that's it. That's the entire teaser. It's very short. How about this? Is this a new gun? I don't believe so. This looks like the Kalash. Yeah, I believe this is just the Kalash. Maybe it has a new attachment, but I don't think so. Can we expect to see a new gun from this? I don't know. I hope so, and I hope it's not another melee weapon, because I, I think we're a little melee heavy right now in the weapon sandbox. Yeah, that's it for the trailer. So it's super short. There's not a lot we can glean from it, other than the fact that it's kind of presenting its own aesthetic here. It'll be really fun. I don't think it'll be that long. I would not expect more than like five hours of content out of this. And that's if you do everything. Um, just because what I'm seeing right now doesn't look like it's that impactful. It kind of looks like they're doing kind of like what Fallout New Vegas does, where it's its own separate part of the map you'll probably teleport to. It won't literally be a teleport in game, but that'll be what the function is. You'll probably wake up there or something. But you'll clear it have a good time maybe get like a new weapon of some sort to take back with you into the main world and then that'll be it that being said i'm very excited for this i think the aesthetic is gorgeous i think it's fun it's lighthearted, and i'm curious to see what lore implications that we can derive from this new dlc one that's coming out this summer thank you so much for watching for more atomic heart content make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next leverloo video